Hello and happy holidays from the Goofy Colors. Hi, my name is Mark and I'm so glad that you're here to watch this video. Um, I did a coloring piece from Kathy Short. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced that last name. Um, it was for a coloring event and color what you like. Um, the Scrooge event, which was totally awesome. I'm so glad I got to color this piece um, for the Scrooge event. It really was awesome and not only just that it really got me to thinking because the way how the artist presented this piece was totally different from any other piece that i've ever colored this is the first time i ever colored a piece like this which was so awesome and i enjoyed it very much um and all of that so like i said this this is a very great interpretation of the scrooge um coloring piece um, what she did, I'll show you, is she made it into blocks right here, as you can tell, which is really cool because, you know, each section you have to color it into different blocks. But if you really look at it, you see how the guy's just sitting there and looking down and facing down. And, you know, you know, everybody knows the story of Scrooge and different things like that. You see the, the past the present and the future. Well, if you look at it, you can tell each block can represent something from your past, your present, and your future. That's a way how I interpreted this beautiful picture that she did. Now, when I did this, I did the picture kind of unique. I did it in so many different ways. Uh, when I first started it, when I looked at it, I uh, went onto my pigment app. I did the black on the pigment the floor on the pigment using um, like a wood looking kind of floor. And then I transferred it to um, to print it. I used gray tone paper to um, color this on because I thought it'd be really good to do that on the gray tone um, and all that. And like I said, over here, I did the skeleton and pencil using black whittles, which I love. And then did his face and charcoal. I started out charcoal on the faces of everybody um, and different things like that. And then when I did that, and the reason why I did the faces the way how I did it, it was kind of kind of cool because every time you see the movies or anything like that, you see humans. Well, I didn't want to portray them as humans. I wanted to kind of make them look kind of ghostly like, but wearing human clothes. So it'd be kind of different and unique for this piece as this guy's thinking. And not only just that, I used the Black Widow pencils, I used my Uhu pencil, I mean markers. Um, but then I found, um, well, my wife got me the Uhu gel pens that were in my stockings. So I went and grabbed them out of my stockings to use it for this piece um, and everything like that. So which was um, really nice pens to use. And then also use some um, ah, these new pens that I new markers, the Blick Art markers, Blick Studio markers, which are really nice, um, and all that. Everything I use is alcohol-based markers. Um, they got uh, the brushes or the knobs, the nibs or the um, chisels, which um, I really do like using. Um, and then you know to create all that little masterpiece. Um, I uh, came up with my little swatches for this is the different color. I know you probably can't see the names and the different things what I use, but I did take a picture, which will be in the video of how I created my skeleton. This is what I did. I just made a whole bunch of colors and then I just brought it to life using these colors here. I got the black, the different reds, the different yellows to bring it on. And then uh, what I did after I did all of that, um, I went into Pixart's app, which I love using because you can add um, different things to make it going. Um, I really wanted to do flames on his head, and I really tried um, working on that. I actually had a piece where I sat there and tried, and um, I tried it. See, you know, you know, as colors, we try to do different things to stretch out, but. It just, I, I, I couldn't get that to pop out on that black background. So what I did is I went into Pixar's app and found a nice little flame, 
put it on top. So that's di uh, that's digitally put on there. So, you know, I do, um, I like to color traditional with markers and use technology, putting stuff on there, using the digital stuff, digital coloring to bring my art to life and everything. And then after that, then I posted it um, with the, um, with um, Catherine Schultz. Sorry if I did pronounce it again wrong. You know, she got there and then when you do post her pictures, she does have a, a link there on her, on her, uh, on her pictures. It says League of Coloring. So make sure you tag that in there every time. Now you can find her on Estes, um, underneath League of Coloring. So make sure you check out her shop. It is a beautiful shop. She's got a lot of great art in there and all that. So please do check it out. Um, and I'll leave a link inside um, this video. And then also I'll leave a link inside the video for the Scrooge event for color what you like and all that. There's several different artists in there as well. Please check it out, man. It is a, a great event going on talking about Scrooge and everything. So this is the Goofy Colors checking out. Have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will see you next year.